Hi, this is Shubham from Monis View, and today in this podcast, we will discuss about investing through an SIP systematic investment plan. Here, we are going to discuss about what is an SIP, how you should approach it, what are the basic allocation, how you invest for a longer period of time. But before that, if you want to read the full article, then the link of our article is in the description. So, let's discuss one by one. Many first time investors get with the question of how to invest in an SIP and often confuse an SIP with which type of investment SIP or systematic investment plan is however only a mode or method of investment and not an investment product itself SIP is an easy smart and convenient way to automate investment in a mutual fund in a disciplined and a timely manner this article explores everything about an SIP so here's the question what is an SIP a systematic investment plan SIP which normally which people known for is one of the best way to invest in a mutual fund or in the security SIP helps to stagger investment and also gives the benefit of a rupee cost averaging cost is very less most importantly if you invest in a mutual fund with SIP you don't have to time the market remember SIP and mutual fund are not the same SIP is merely a method to invest in mutual fund and the other method being a lump sum so how do SIP work when you invest in SIP you invest small sum regularly in a mutual fund scheme or any class of assets of your choice a fixed amount is deducted from your bank account every month SIP usually allow you to invest periodically whether it's a weekly quarterly or monthly for instance if your SIP is scheduled for the 10th of every month then pre-decided amount will be debited and invested towards the mutual fund every month on that date so how to invest in SIP following our step-by-step guide to understand how to invest in SIP the first thing is understand the objective of investment and your risk tolerance level for this you need to know your investment goal your kids education or marriage or a new car or home loan etc you must evaluate your risk appetite before investing usually the higher the age the financial obligation the lower the risk of tolerance the second important thing is choose a mutual fund for your investment selection should be based on your risk profile and your personal financial goal and other analysis parameters such as a fund return and expense ratio third important thing is fill up the application to your preferred AMC and submit it with a check then the check which is cancel check basically go with your AMC for KYC and bank confirmation over here in this application your residential proof also taken care of this same process will continue if you are going for an offline approach nowadays you can do everything with your smart mobile you just have to fill your form online take a selfie take a picture front and back of your address proof and submit it and of course at the end you have to select a specific date specific amount to start an SIP investment and yes that's done your SIP is placing this is basically the process of choosing an SIP but the most important thing is how much you should invest in SIP SIP do not have an upper limit on the periodic investment amount you can even start with a little of rupees 500 per month further to add there are some mutual funds where you can start SIP with rupees 100 also so, however the ideal amount differ from investor to investor if you are wondering how much should I invest as my earnings of every month here are some important pointers point number one study your financial goal it is an emergency fund or a retirement fund let's discuss first on that suppose you are building an emergency fund then the investor about three or six months has to pay in a year or generally followed divide the amount into a small pocket friendly amounts for a monthly installment in SIP the second important thing is measure your risk profile this is an important because if you take uncalculated risk you will be have an ideal with losses this is an especially true if your investment horizon in a short term however it's also true that if you have to play safe you will not yield desired result third important thing is consider tax efficiency according to income tax at 1961 section 80 c investment up to rupees 1.5 lakh in ELSS funds are eligible for a tax exemption and if you are from 30 percent tax rate bracket you you will save rupees 46,800 but remember that these ELSS funds are different previously we had made a video about this and podcast we will share the link if you want to listen then you can please listen about the topic the fourth is use the 50 30 20 rule in case of a doubt trust the 50 30 20 rule it makes and take care of your all type of quality of a life as far as investment
pension concern how do you apply this rule simple you reserve 50% of your monthly income for essential groceries supply utility bill etc 30% for entertainment and 20% you have to invest if you want to invest more you can evaluate cost cutting in a first two category remember to invest at least 20% of your saving let discuss what are the different benefits of a SIP other than how to invest in SIP investor often wonder if SIP are worth their money so what is the benefit the first one is provide an opportunity of a rupee cost averaging when you invest in SIP your cost get average out this is mainly because the market cycle it is bearish bullish bearish and so on so regularly investment in SIP when the market is a bearish will make you more units to invest at a lower price when the market goes up the appreciation in worth of your holding will be all time high and lucrative in short term when the markets are down you buy more units when the markets are at peak you get less unit this why your cost gets average out the second benefit is has the work of power of compounding through the power of compounding you not only get the returns of money you have invested but also the gain this way you are able to create a substantial amount of wealth over the period of time for instance if you have invested 1 lakh in a mutual fund in a one year the return for one year is 15 percent so at the end of year you will get 1.15 lakh now with power of compounding next year the 15 percent has been more added differently and remember over here depend on the cycle of a market you will get more units by averaging cost rupee benefit third important benefit is it provides and discipline toward investing SIP bring discipline to your overall investment approach for instance you earn rupees X every month if you are unable to control your spending within the given budget it might happen that by the end of the month you left a zero saving but when you invest in SIP you will be compelled to follow a discipline investment regime if you remain in the regularity of a first in saving and then spending you will likely not face any financial hardship so let's discuss what is the bottom line over here a systematic investment plan is a very dynamic product for a small but regular investment plan for long period of time which ignore the short term volatility to achieve a financial freedom if you want to read the full article then the link of article is in a description thank you guys for joining with us for this podcast here shubham from monist you signing off